Hey, what's up everybody? This is just a toy haul video to show you what I picked up at Target a few nights ago and also what I picked up at Walmart. So let's start with the Walmart purchases first. I picked up uh, Dark of the Moon Deluxe Class Sideswipe. And I originally was not planning on getting this, but when I saw it in person, I I liked it enough to buy it. I mean, there, there are a couple issues that I have with it, but I will get into that in the actual full review. But it's a really cool looking car mode. And as you can see here, the entire roof section has been removed. You got this sleek looking windshield or yeah, windshield. And you got these uh, bucket seats here, which is really nice. So yeah, I mean, uh, I'm a sports car guy, so uh, you know, once I saw it, I said, eh, I'll pick it up. And even if it turns out to be, uh, you know, a bad figure, at least I can review it and tell you guys what I think about it. So, so there we go. Dark of the Moon Deluxe Class Sideswipe. And I also picked up Deluxe Class Barricade. And basically for the same reason. He's a nice, he's got a nice uh, sports car alt mode and a fairly easy transformation. So, Barricade. So moving on to the Target purchases, I did pick up the Dark of the Moon Human Alliance Basic Backfire. Now I know I said that I was not going to pick up any more of these Wave 1 Human Alliance Basic figures, but I went back on my word and uh, one of the reasons is it has a very nice weapons mode. Probably in my opinion the nicest weapons mode of all of the Human Alliance basic figures so far. Um, it does a fairly good job of hiding the vehicle mode, as you can see there. The vehicle mode is kind of a, uh, well, they call it a three-wheeler. But you can see the wheels here, which is unfortunate, but, you know, for a $10 figure, I'm not going to be too critical of, of things like that. I mean, they did a pretty good job. I think of all the, like I said, of all these weapons mode for all the um, Human Alliance basic figures, these this one here is the best. And I saw this... Uh, particular weapon mode, excuse me, weapon mode displayed in uh, leader class Ironhide's uh, hand. So it re really looked awesome. So just decided to pick that up. And you know, the, the paint apps on these uh, figures are actually pretty nice. Uh, these are sized roughly between a scout class and a deluxe class figure. So, but as you can see, it's got some nice uh, silver and uh, goldish bronze colors. So, moving on. Now, I did see uh, this guy here. This is DC Universe Classics Deathstroke. And let's give you a close up look for those of you who are not familiar with Deathstroke. I don't know anything about the character, but I like the look of the figure. And as you can see, it's got a sword, it's got some ammo clip uh, going across his chest there, a staff, and you can see back here. Maybe there's a machine gun type of weapon. So, Deathstroke. And, like I said, I don't know anything about the character, but I know what I like. And I know a lot of uh, Marvel and DC fans are going to be probably hating on me for this, but I really see a lot of resemblance to this guy here, which is Deadpool. Just uh, the overall... Um, design, I guess, or the feel that I get from the figure, they, they, they are very similar. And I, I like Deadpool, so I decided to pick up uh, Deathstroke. So yeah, this is DC Universe, uh, DC Universe Classics, uh, figure six. And uh, another thing I really like about it, actually, while I'm on the subject here, uh, you might be able to make this out on his abdomen there. It's kind of got a uh, almost a blue metallic abdomen, almost like he's got scale armor. Not scale armor, but uh, chain mail, uh, which is a really nice effect. I like that. You can see you're maybe right there. So, finally at Target, I also picked up another DC Universe Classics figure. And this is one I really was shocked. Yes, shocked to see on the shelves. Here we go. DC Universe Classics, Asriel Batman. And here's a look at Batman, or Azrael Batman, if you want to take a closer look here. And, uh, looks like a fantastic figure. You can see it's got, uh, some metallic blue, gold. You got some 
kind of shiny silver on his ab. And then you got the kind of a standard gray plastic for the for the thigh and leg and feet. And he's got wings, as you can maybe make out there on the side. So he's looking really awesome. He's got these gold conduits going from his forearm to the back. So, and this is part of a wave of figures. You collect all these figures and you get the collect and connect uh, Bane, which I'm not planning on buying any more from this wave. I just wanted this guy here. And I was really, really shocked to see him on the shelves because in my mind, I figured I'd have to go to eBay or online and if I did that, I would have to pay, you know, $10 shipping on top of the price of the figure. So we're talking, you know, $30 maybe, if maybe more. So really, really shocked to see this, but really pleased to see it. It was the only one on the shelf. And it does have, you know, it has its paint problems, but nothing major. And, you know, considering, you know, I didn't have a choice that this was the only one on the shelves, I'm still pretty happy with it. So... It just looks awesome. So there you go. Now, one last thing that arrived in the mail from eBay. Marvel Legends Toy Biz Storm. And let's have a look at Storm here. And you can see you can see the figure comes with a base, kind of a storm cloud base, I think it is. We've got a card there. Man, this these you don't see you don't see figures like this anymore. I mean, this is a big package. You got this big base. You got a comic in the back there. Uh, Toy Biz really did a great job with these Marvel Legends figures uh, overall. So, and you can see some more of the figures there. So, Marvel Legends Toy Biz Storm. And I'm always on the lookout for good looking, well articulated female action figures. So uh, this will definitely fit that bill, I think. So looking really nice. You can see she's got the the cape back, uh, you know, draped between her uh, forearms there. Really nice. All right. Well, thanks for watching. This has been a look at my toy haul for this week, and uh, most likely, uh, most of these will be reviewed. I don't, I don't want to make any promises because I've done that, done that in the past and I've always had to maybe go back on my word, but I'm thinking for sure the, the Transformer stuff because it's more relevant because it just came out and the, and the movie's coming out in the next month or so. So I want to definitely get those uh, reviews done and, and, and published to YouTube. All right, thanks for watching and I'll catch you later.